I truly hope the excitement from this week's grocery haul is infectious. What is up you guys? My name is Kira if you are new and in today's video I have for you my weekly grocery haul and meal plan that I share every single Tuesday here on the channel. Now let me first start off by saying that I don't normally sound like this. About once or twice a year I just lose my voice randomly and well this just happens to be one of those times. So I certainly don't sound like myself but please do not let my manly voice dull the excitement that I have for this week's grocery haul because you guys, I got a chance to go to Aldi, which may not be exciting for some, but it is super exciting to me. I consider myself a grocery haul junkie. I love shopping at different grocery stores. I love finding new groceries and fun things to share with my family and Aldi, has it. I mean, next to Trader Joe's, that is by far my favorite grocery store. And I did get to go to one when I was on Long Island visiting my mom, but otherwise the one that's here for me is an hour and 45 minutes away. So the last time I took that trek out there was Christmas time. So I really don't get a chance to go very much, but I happened to be out there this past weekend. And while I was out there, I couldn't resist. I had to go. So I spent about $180 there and got all of the goods, but I couldn't get everything there. So I had to go ahead and do a Walmart's grocery pickup. And Walmart's grocery pickup, you guys, I was a little weirded out at first by the app change, but it kind of worked out to our benefit because now they won't just substitute you. If they can give you the same item but just ship it to you then they'll just do that instead which target does that and i love that because sometimes i really want that item i don't want them to substitute it or tell me it's out of stock like i'm okay with them mailing it to me which is what they did for a few of my items and it worked out to my benefit so i really feel like this week's grocery haul was a complete success but it is quite a long one so make sure you have a snack and a drink and you're ready to go now, besides all the goods that I got, this grocery haul is also extra special because it's in collab with my friend Jennifer over at Southern Mama Drama. I absolutely love this girl. We have been friends for probably about a year and a half. We met in a group collab and I absolutely love her. We have not got a chance to collab solely by ourselves, but you guys, she just exudes entertainment. I literally love watching her grocery hauls because they're not just grocery hauls. Like she ties in other little things and it's just so entertaining to watch. And I know that grocery hauls are my favorite videos to watch. So when somebody like amps up their game and makes it even more interesting, I'm all about it. And that's what she does. And she's just funny and she's entertaining. And so if you like that kind of stuff, like I have the perfect person for you to watch. And she has an Aldi haul as well. So we have lots of Aldi goodies to share with you. She has a hubby and three kids, just like myself, two boys and a brand new baby girl, Stevie, who is just absolutely beautiful. So I really enjoy following her on Instagram. I love following her YouTube channel. She shares all sorts of like foodie content and grocery hauls just like I do so I know you guys will love her so when you're done watching this go over see what she got at Aldi subscribe hit that bell and leave a little unicorn emoji so she knows that I sent you now speaking of this collab if you're coming over from Jennifer's channel welcome but I do something special here every single week for my grocery haul I host a giveaway my husband will tell me one item that he wants me to pick up for him I'll pick that up it's amongst the groceries that I share. And then you guys guess down below in the comments what you think it is. And then the following week, I pull a giveaway winner and I send a gift card via email. So this week is no different. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing like we always do. So go ahead and place your guesses down below. Make sure you watch the whole video through so that you can think about what you think he might have chose and then go ahead and throw it in the comments. And then next week, I will call a winner. So last week, Daryl chose the Boar's Head cold cuts. He said, if you're going to H-E-B, you better grab some Boar's Head. So I got the honey ham for him and he absolutely loved it. Now only three of you guessed the honey ham. Everybody else was thinking ribs and other things. Only three of you guessed that honey ham. And one of them was MC Nav, which she won two weeks ago. So she had a one out of three chance of winning again, which would have been a no big deal because as long as you get it right, you're going to go in the drawing. You can win every single week. You just have to guess the item right 
and then you're gonna go in that randomizer to be picked. So she almost won again, but she didn't. This week was Kelly Evans. So congrats to you, Kelly. Make sure you send me an email and I'll go ahead and get a gift card out to you right away. But for all of my newbies and of course my OGs, make sure you comment down below what you think Daryl picked for this week. But all right, we've been chatting way too long and we have a super long grocery haul. So grab that snack, grab that drink. Let me share with you what I got at Aldi at Walmart's Grocery Pickup and then we'll get into this week's meal plan. All right, you guys, so here is your quick overview of what I spent $181.08 on in Aldi this time, and I can't even tell you how good it feels to have Aldi products on my counter. Like, I am literally such a nerd, you guys, but this stuff truly excites me, and I love me some Aldi, so I was very, very happy to go today and have today's grocery haul on my counter be Aldi. So I'm going to start in this corner. I have some produce here, but I do have some produce scattered throughout the table as well. I definitely didn't put anything out with rhyme or reason. So I picked up a thing of strawberries, it's just a one pound container. I did get a three pack of romaine. I was pretty surprised because I usually speak so highly of Aldi. I talk about how amazing that their prices are, but they sell the Taylor Farm salads there and they were $3.99. That blew my mind because Walmart, Sam's, Costco, any place that sells those Taylor Farm salads has them for two and change. So the fact that they had them for $3.99, that was crazy to me. So I didn't get any of the bag salad kits this time. I just got a three pack of romaine. I also got my absolute favorite. This is like a guilty pleasure for me when I go to Aldi, but I really, really love their peach tea. This is like a dupe off of a peach Snapple, which just happens to be my favorite Snapple flavor. But for the price, this is just so, so good. Again, I don't get it all the time, obviously, because I don't get a chance to shop at Aldi. But when I do, I pick that up for myself. And then usually the wine selection at Aldi is on point. And they had so many different things. They even had like a caramel apple cream liqueur, like a Irish cream or something like that. And even the bartender in me was trying at that moment to think quickly on what kind of drink I could make with that caramel apple like liqueur, but I don't really like creamy drinks like that. That's why I'm not a huge fan of like Irish cream and things like that. Cause I don't like my drinks to be creamy. Like I want my coffee to be creamy and my sour cream to be creamy, but I don't really want like my cocktail to be creamy, if that makes any sense. So I didn't get the caramel apple cream liqueur, although it really did sound amazing, but I did see two other things that I've never seen before. So this just looks really cute, obviously seasonal for Halloween, but it says happy Halloween on it. And then it says, let me try and stand it up so I can get the camera to a focus. There we go. So it says happy Halloween, eat, drink, and be scary. And then it says sweet, bloody red. And I just love the packaging. It's what totally got me with the jack-o'-lanterns and the witch and the black cat and the haunted house, the moon, the bats and everything just gave me all the Halloween feel. So I, obviously I'm just going to put this away and drink that on Halloween. And then tell me that this does not speak to me. You guys look at this. So this says orange mimosa made with fresh squeezed orange juice. So it is literally champagne with fresh orange juice already squeezed inside. And it even has like a old fashioned like cream soda top or something like that. Like the twist off bottle cap. That's what it is like a bottle cap. So I thought that was pretty interesting and I wanted to give that guy a try. I love my mimosa. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Uh, I did get some pie crust. I absolutely love Aldi pie crust. I think they have one of the best and most reasonably priced pie crust. And I use that for a ton of things, whether I use that to make pot pies or something along those lines. So I grabbed that just to have in the freezer. I did grab a organic bunch of broccoli so we can use this for lunches and dinners. I grabbed a bag of yellow onions. I needed that. 
I got some blackberries for the kids for lunches and I got blueberries for the kids for lunches. And then I did get a pack of mini cucumbers. I think we still have one cucumber left from Sam's Club, but I'm surprised that that's still good and holding on. And I haven't bought any cucumbers since. So I just got the little cucumbers to hold over until I go to Costco next week. And then I'll get more of like the package of English cucumbers or something like that. Uh, we have no like fries or tater tots or anything like that in the freezer. So I just grabbed one bag of tater tots to put towards the dinner this, this week. I bought garlic knots, you guys. I can't even tell you the last time I bought one of these garlic knot things in the bag, but these things are so, so good. And it says here 927, which is just two days away for me. And these are displayed where the regular bread is just on a shelf, but they freeze perfectly. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw these in the freezer until I use them and you heat them right in this bag. Like you throw the whole bag in the oven, they cook in this yummy garlicky butter sauce, and then you just shake and then serve. And it's like having a fresh garlic knot from a pizzeria. So I'm excited. I don't even think I've bought these since I lived here in Texas. I used to get them all the time from Walmart in South Carolina, but I don't think I've bought them since I lived here. So I think my family is going to be excited excited to see those. I really love this Fuchsia brand. So they only sell this at Aldi, but this is their Asian brand, something along those lines. And so this is the white chicken egg rolls. And then I also got the pork egg rolls. And we're just gonna use that for a night when we do like a Chinese takeout night or something. Like I usually do those at home, like once a month or once every six weeks or so. And I like to have those on hand. So I'm excited to find the ones from there and then look at this you guys I almost have to take a deep breath when I walked down this one aisle because I could have come home with a million things but if you guys don't really know the history of Aldi I highly suggest you look it up it's a really cool story about two brothers and how they ended up splitting their stores and how one went to the United States and established Trader Joe's where the other one stayed in Germany and kept Aldi going the way that it was and it was really a discrepancy over wanting to sell cigarettes and not selling tobacco products and back and forth and it just made them split but that being said Trader Joe's doesn't really carry any of the quote unquote German line products because they kind of segregated away from that but Aldi kind of stayed with the realm and every time I go in there they always have some kind of large array of German lines of foods and this just happens to be the season where they carry a ton so this brand I'm not even gonna say it because I'll I will butcher it it says authentic German food right underneath and then this says amaretto liqueur dessert cake amaretto is the cherry and almond and that is my favorite like scent and flavor when I got that package of all of the cleaners that came with me buying my water softener I told you guys in empties like I get the I got the free soap and all that stuff you get to pick your scent amaretto is the scent that I chose like I just love this flavor and so they had a bunch of pound cakes so you'll see two more at the end but this is the one that I chose for myself and I swear I'm gonna use this like for my birthday cake or something because it still says that it's good until 2022 so I am going to hold this I love how it's indented so that you know where to make slices and you can have like a perfect slice of cake and doesn't that just sound so good and maybe with some strawberries and a little bit of whipped cream like that sounds so delicious happy birthday to me i'm so excited uh, i got this for jake as like a special treat it's a cookies and cream cheesecake so he's recently just like discovered cheesecake and decided that he likes it and then you guys know he absolutely loves his cookies and cream so i think that'll be a nice little treat for him and then speaking of jake they had the oh snap pickles there this was the only other place i could get this big case before sam's started carrying them and then i only had gotten them from sam's that one time before the very last time so hopefully when i continue to keep going back sam's will carry them but since it was like a shot in the dark the last time I picked them up in Aldi while I saw them and it's such a great deal so I went ahead and grabbed that
All right, a ton of cheese, but the cheese price at Aldi is on point. It's so, so good. And we were completely out of cheese anyways. So I got the Happy Farms Extra Sharp Cheddar, the Happy Farms Regular Sharp Cheddar, the Happy Farms Mild Cheddar, and then the Kobe Jack. And so we usually just go ahead and like all the cheddars, we'll just put them in the food processor, all of them together and mix it all up. And then I just take quart bags and separate them. One will stay in the refrigerator and then the other one will get frozen until we're ready to use them so i got my cheese for that i picked up two bags of these because i'm going to give one to vanessa and hold one for myself if you guys don't know vanessa from lemonade mom her family is in the military and so she spent some time overseas as when she was younger and she spent a fair amount of time in germany and she just loves the german food she has a lot of memories from being a child like and eating the german food so when I walked in there, I tried to FaceTime her, but my phone was just not cooperating. And I know she's struggling with her kitchen, but there was a million things I could have picked her up that I just thought she would have loved. But this is one of the things I couldn't leave without, especially because she loves the little crack and egg thing, or she loves to get the potatoes from Trader Joe's and make that with eggs. So this is a fried potato slices with scrambled eggs, onions, and spices. It says from skillet to plate in 10 minutes. That sounds so good. And if it's not enough like scrambled eggs or if the quality isn't that good but the potatoes and the flavor are great you always can just add your own eggs on top of that but I got two bags one for me for like a breakfast or a brunchy kind of thing and then one for her because I know she's just going to love that I did get a couple of these singles cups. I think the Aldi price for these kind of singles cups are great. And so I got the guacamole for Jacob and then the hummus for Maya. I think Jake will love to take this with his lunch with a little bit of chips. And Maya loves to take any of the little hummus cups or things like that or hummus in general in her lunchbox with like carrot sticks or something like that. So I thought these were a nice little switch for their lunches. And then I did get the Fair Trade Certified Caramel Apple Coffee. They usually have their little specialty packs during the seasonal time of year. So they'll have like a fall specialty pack with different flavors. They do it around Christmas time and they do it during Valentine's Day. I didn't see any of that. It looked like they were just starting to roll out some of their fall stuff a little behind the times in my opinion when it comes to a grocery store. But they had some pumpkin things and some like holiday flavored things, but the aisle where they have like all the goodies, like the non-food items, even that was still very heavy on the summer products and not so much like holiday things coming in. So I was a little disappointed. That was like the one thing I was going for was my coffee, but I did see this caramel apple one. It was 18 cups and I'm sure it's going to be delicious. So I did go ahead and grab that. I did just get one gallon of milk. I was going to get two, but I follow like an Aldi Facebook page and a bunch of people were saying that the Aldi milk has been spoiling before the expiration date. So I, I don't get a chance to experience that much. So we'll see what happens, you know, this time with the milk. But just with that in the back of my mind, I only bought one gallon. I did get two candles. These were the only other non-food items that I got besides the two bottles of wine. But again, on the that Facebook group, they were talking about how great these candles are by Huntington Home. And they're only $3.99 and they're a soy blend. So any soy candle is usually on the more expensive side and they burn a lot cleaner. So it's better, you know, for your home, your lungs, the air quality in your house if you're going to burn a candle to burn something that's soy. So this one is apple harvest i don't think it has like notes on it or anything because it's not like a bath and body works candle or something like that but this smells really good i can't explain it it has an apple you know tone to it it's called apple harvest and it's three wicks which i love but it's it also has like a woodsy smell like a little bit of like cedar or oak kind of undertone so i kind of like that a little bit because it's a mix between like the earthy tones and then the fruity tones so i didn't really mind that too too much but this one is amazing the label was a little destroyed but who is coming to my house reading the label you're just gonna smell it and this one is pumpkin cream cookie and oh my goodness you guys 
This one smells delicious. It has like a very mapley vanilla kind of flavor. Like that's the cream cookie portion. And then you get that pumpkin undertone. I am really excited to burn that. And I thought that was amazing. You know, eight bucks for two, certainly better than Bath and Body Works. Got some green onions here, needed that. And celery, we were out of that. I got our white cheddar puffs. We love these. I do think the ones from Trader Joe's are a little bit better, but these are the better bang for your buck. So I do pick these up and I don't know. I, I don't know if the white cheddar puffs, those Trader Joe ones, if they're organic or not. Maybe they are, but these ones are organic as well. So I went ahead and grabbed that and then I got the multi-grain chips. These are the ones that are just like the late July chips and these are so much more reasonably priced. We can find late July chips now, like even Costco is selling the big bags of them, but cost effective wise, Aldi actually has the better deal. So I did just go and grab one of those. I did get some chocolate peanut butter candy cookies. It's literally chocolate cookies with little bits of Reese's Pieces in them. Now this says it's only good until October the 4th. So I'm debating if I want to freeze these or just use these right away for lunches this coming up week and kind of like break the kids into the October season because that's very like Halloween-y looking or October looking. So I'm not sure yet what I want to do, but with all the snacks and stuff I've been picking up, the kids are Going to have like a very fun October with very fally and Halloween themed things so I'm really excited and then speaking of like fall and and like that kind of holiday themed things these are caramel apple creams I don't know if Mason's going to like them but you guys know how Mason feels about anything apple and this just resembles like a white Oreo cookie but then it has the caramel apple cream on the inside and so I think that Mason's going to like them we're gonna give it a try, but I can see him really liking these. It just reminds me of like a caramel apple version of an Oreo. I don't really buy Oreos or cookies like that too, too often. So I think this is gonna be a nice treat for him. Hopefully he likes them. I don't know about the other kids, but we shall see. Uh, I did get four packs of this cheese tortellini because they were on sale for $1.50, I believe. And it's 8.8 .8 ounces. So two pounds of tortellini should be more than enough, especially if we do it like a salad or something on the side. But I know my husband loves himself like cheese tortellini, especially if I do like a nice garlicky Alfredo sauce. So for six bucks, I thought that was killer to get that for a meal. So I went ahead and got four packages to do a dinner one night. I did grab our fruit strips. I love these. We actually have like one or two left. I don't give the kids fruit snacks too often, like maybe once a week, sometimes not even, but I actually mailed a box of these home to myself from my mother's when I went there this summer because my kids love these so, so much. And I love the fact that it's a good non-GMO fruit snack. They're not easy to find. Usually fruit snacks are, you know, made with dyes and stuff like that. So I like and prefer to get these and my kids love them. Like hands down, this is the one they'll choose stacked against something else. So I did grab that and we'll have them for a while because there's 21 strips in there. I did get some salted caramel brownie mix. This is the specially selected brand. This is like their sophisticated line. Aldi has like a higher end line and this is their like higher end, but I always have brownie mix on hand considering I get like that six pack of the gear jelly ones from Costco. But when you get a six pack like that, it's just that one flavor. And the salted caramel one is phenomenal and it's under $2. So I like to have things like this. My kids love baking on the weekends. I love making stuff like this on the weekend and then putting it in sandwich bags in our bin and they take it for snacks for lunch throughout the week. So I thought this would just be a nice switch as opposed to the one that we have been eating on that's in the cabinet. Speaking of organic fruit snacks, I saw these next to the fruit leathers. Uh, it's only 12 pouches. I don't even know if I've ever gotten these before, but if you look, they have like 
owls and foxes and squirrels. Very like woodland kind of creatures. So I thought that was a, you know, nice little addition to like our fall theme kind of lunches. And then I found these. So these aren't non-GMO, but they do say no artificial flavors or synthetic colors made with real fruit juice. So, I mean, I feel a little bit better, but these are Halloween again. I'm pretty sure I haven't checked the cabinet inside, but I'm pretty sure I bought a big box of Halloween fruit snacks from Sam's Club. And if I did, then we're going to have an abundance, but I don't think I'm going to buy candy this year. I think that I'm going to give out fruit snacks instead. Like I kind of would rather my kids have that than that. We also have like Halloween pretzels and things. So Halloween's the very end of the month. So while we're getting to that very last day of October, if we still have a slew of all this stuff, like that's what we're gonna use to give away instead of candy. We'll do the fruit snacks, the pretzels, the all of that. And at least the kids now have like different kinds of fruit snacks to take for lunch, especially like sticking with that Halloween theme. So I went ahead and got that. I was so excited to find these. Speaking of Jennifer from Southern Mama Drama, she just did a little like shop with me. Just a quick little video, like four or five minutes walking through Aldi, like sharing the few specialty things that she saw there. There. and one of the things that she saw were these apple cider donuts and there's six of them so that's perfect for our family we each get one but if you just throw these in the oven like on 300 like a low temperature just to bring them up to temp so that they're warm it almost brings these kind of donuts back to life as if they just came off the conveyor belt and apple cider donuts are one of my favorite like that just that reminds me of pumpkin patch and apple cider and apple cider donuts and all that like all that just excites me so i went ahead and grabbed those i think we will enjoy them i haven't seen pierogies in forever like i don't know if my walmart even sells them because if they do i've not seen them i'm sure heb does but obviously i don't go in there too too often and so when i saw the roasted garlic pierogies i thought that would be perfect it says each box is three servings there's six of us in our family so two should be amazing as a side dish for some kind of meal coming up I got a container of chicken broth and then, okay, speaking of another mom's guilty pleasure, but I only get this four pack of Red Bull when I go to Aldi, which obviously is not very often considering it is the end of September and I've only been to Aldi twice this year. So I will take that as a win because I know these aren't the greatest for you. No energy drinks that have like regular sugar in them are, but I am a sucker for Red Bull, but they're pricey and for the price for four cans like sometimes you pay that for just one so i usually go ahead and pick those up for myself when i go and then i did get the apple banana squeeze pouch of apple sauces we still have some left over from sam's and this was the only flavor that they had so i got two packages of just the apple banana but these things are like a dollar and change i don't even know a dollar fifty something like that and they're just so so good the kids love them they have a variety of flavors like a strawberry a peach a something else i think there's like four different flavors but this was literally the only one that they had but i couldn't go to aldi and come home without their um applesauce because i think that they would slay me they love the applesauce from there so this week on Friday, I had Pizza Friday out. My oldest asked me like, hey, how come we don't do Pizza Friday anymore? Like we used to do Pizza Friday a long time ago, like when we lived in South Carolina or even way back when, when we lived in New York, we would do Pizza Fridays where we just got pizza out. Like that was our takeout night and we would get pizza on a Friday. Well, I've just gotten into the habit, especially with sharing meals with you guys. And like I do my own grocery shopping and like big grocery shoppings every single week. I try to stay away from takeout like we just don't order out every once in a while it'll be a lunch or something but the only time we ever have a dinner is if we're in a rush we're coming home somewhere from something super late or something happened something didn't thaw or something like in a pinch but I promised Jake we would do some kind of takeout pizza. So I put Pizza Friday on for this coming up Friday. And then when I walked into Aldi, I was like, boom, bang, 
never mind because their take and bakes are the best pizza around this mama cozy's brand i believe you can only find this at aldi but this pizza is the bomb.com and it's 5.99 for a cheese and 6.99 for a full meat so you tell me and then this was 4.99 i believe so you tell me where you're going to get a large cheese pizza a large mega meat pizza and a cheesy bread for under $20 at any takeout pizza place, especially if you have it delivered and sent to your house, tax and tip and the whole deal, no thank you. So I am super excited. I think my kids are going to love the feel of having a takeout pizza night, but we're going to have it right at home thanks to Aldi. All right, here's two more of those cakes. So this one is for my husband. Now, he didn't like ask for this. I just saw this and thought he would really like it for his lunches. It's the same kind of concept to that amaretto cake, but this one's lemon. It has the same thing, like the indentations of like where to cut. I thought this would be nice and soft and light for him to maybe have with his coffee while he's driving to work in the morning or for me to send with him for his lunch. But when my papa was alive, my aunt always used to make this lemon cake. And so when we lived on the island and we used to go like to a party or something, Daryl would always say like, oh, if papa's going to be there, then Aunt Liz is going to make the lemon cake because he just loved the lemon cake. So I think he's just going to absolutely love this when he sees this. So I'm going to slice it up for him and I will put it with his lunches or for, like I said, for him to take for breakfast. I think that's awesome. And then you guys. Speaking of Vanessa, if you know her at all, you know that she loves marzipan. Like that is her, like one of her, that's her guilty pleasure. She just loves it. Like that's just her thing. And during this time of year, they start really bringing out like a lot of marzipan things. And so when I saw this, same thing, a pound cake with the indentations, I'm like, okay, she can cut this in the morning and have this alongside of her coffee or something. And I just see her totally enjoying this like I couldn't leave Aldi without buying that for her like I said I couldn't even get in touch with her so she doesn't even know what I bought but I'm I'm excited to share those things with her I think she's going to enjoy them all right have you guys ever seen this because I've never seen this and it's the first time like and the first time I saw it was at Aldi so that was kind of like bizarro to me but this is called a Gatorade juiced so if you're not new here you know my family loves them some Gatorade and this says it's a juice based sports drink in mixed berry hydration with uh, electrolytes no added sugars no added colors or anything so it says it's a flavored juice blend with apple strawberry blueberry and other natural flavors so you know when it says other natural flavors it's not the greatest for you but neither is regular Gatorade and I let my kids have that all the time so I just thought this would be something different again something I've never seen before a switch for their lunchbox I think they're going to enjoy that I did get our organic sea salt popcorn. Again, if you're not new here and you've seen any of my Aldi hauls, I absolutely rave about this organic popcorn. It's only 35 calories per cup. It's amazing for just sea salt popcorn that has no butter on it. It's amazing how like truly great that it is. I love it. It's like it truly is the best so i went ahead and grabbed that and then i did get two boxes of these little like ritzy cheese crackery things and so i got the ones with peanut butter i think mason will enjoy that more and then i got the cheese ones and i think that jake and maya will prefer like the cheesier kind i don't know maybe Jake would like the peanut butter too, but I can see Maya liking more of the savory kind, like the cheese ones, but there was 12 packs in there for that price. I think that's so good. The kids usually get the peanut butter or the cheese ones either from Aldi or Trader Joe's that are just loose in the box, but to see the snack packs for lunch boxes, yeah, that was going in the cart. So I grabbed that for their lunches. And then lastly for this haul, I grabbed some apple cider. I cannot wait to throw some of that in the the freezer I love me some good frozen apple cider and Daryl really enjoys a cocktail that I make with apple cider as well so I'm excited to have that to have some cocktails with especially during this fall season but all right you guys so that was it for this Aldi haul I'm gonna take you into the super small Walmart haul and then we'll get into this week's meal plan 
All right, you guys, so here is a quick overview of the second portion of this week's grocery haul. This is what I got from Walmart's grocery pickup, and I think it was roughly about $95, but there were some things that were canceled, some that were substituted, some that were refunded to me, and some things that were being shipped. So I'm not aware of the exact total right now, but if you're interested, just check the description box below and everything will be updated there. And these were just the things that like I couldn't really get from Aldi that were more specific to a Walmart. So I'll jump right in right over here. I did just throw a box of the Great Value Rotini in my cart. It was only 88 cents. And I noticed that when I went to Trader Joe's, I didn't get as much pasta as I normally do. And we were kind of running low in the pantry. So I just grabbed that to stock up. And then both kids Pop-Tarts, the regular cookies and cream of the Kellogg's for Jake. And then the kids get the Nature's Path Organic. This is a the wild berry and acai which they I don't think they've had that one in a little bit I did get some cranberry sauce if you guys are looking for like a different take on chicken wings instead of like a buffalo or something like that I do a really amazing cranberry flavored chicken wing it's so perfect for this time of year I don't know cranberry sauce is just all about the fall for me like that just gives me all the fall feels and in my latest cookbook that I wrote with Vanessa the holiday one it has the cranberry wings in it and it is just so so good so if you guys are looking for some new fall recipes definitely check out that cookbook it is listed in the description box below Here's one of the things that I got refunded because I asked for the elephant garlic. That's like that really huge garlic. And I love that because it only has about four or five cloves, but each clove is like eight to 10 standard cloves. So I just take one piece and cut it up and it's usually perfect for whatever I'm making. And they gave me just a regular head of garlic instead. So they refunded me for that. I did just get one small pack of yellow rice to have with quesadillas on Tuesday. I got the Mama Francesca's Classic Parmesan Cheese. They allowed me to get the Lily's Dark Chocolate Baking Chips this time. I never can get these on the pickup, so I just went ahead and threw those in my cart. No yogurt options anywhere you guys nothing in pouches not at aldi not at walmart so i just grabbed the go go squeeze yogurts this is like the shelf stable ones i don't know how crazy my kids are going to be about these but they love their yogurt so if they just see it in a pouch maybe they'll fall for it and this is the blueberry yogurt on the go i don't know we'll see i don't know really how i feel about shelf stable yogurt but I don't know. We'll see what my kids feel about it. I did grab that for them. And then we were running low on juice boxes and I'm not going to Costco for still another week. So I grabbed the kids, the Honest Kids Organic Very Good Lemonade. And then I grabbed a bunch of organic bananas. I like the smaller ones. The kids wasted bananas last week. Well, they didn't waste them. They ripened pretty fast and the kids just didn't eat them as quick as they usually would but they were so big so half the time if they were grabbing them they weren't even finishing them actually today I just made blueberry muffins with the last few that were left so I like that these ones are a little bit smaller because the kids will finish them I did grab a watermelon to cut up for school lunches this week uh, no tomatoes at Aldi whatsoever. They had zero, none. So I got the Constellation tomatoes. You guys know we absolutely love these. The cherry tomatoes, the trio pack from last week, Bruno ate. Like I cleaned it and I put it out on a dish towel to dry and Bruno jumped up while I literally left the room for two seconds and ate all of my tomatoes. So definitely needed a small thing of cherry tomatoes and we were completely out of any slicing tomatoes. So I got a four pack of the tomatoes on the vine. I did grab one of the everything French bread. We used the one that we had in the freezer and I always love to just have one of these on hand. And if they have it, I get even more excited because a lot of the times this is substituted for the plain sesame seeded one. So I was happy to see we got that. I am out of butter. I hate when that happens. I usually have a large stock up from the bulk store, but I haven't bought it the last few times because I had an abundance. So we ended up running out. I just picked up a one four pack of four sticks, which just equals one pound of the Great Value Sweet Cream Salted Butter just to last us until we get to Costco. Maya asked for some whipped cream to have with some fruit. So I can't deny my girl when she asked for something because she asks for very, very little. So I grabbed her some whipped cream. 
I grabbed some heavy cream and like a few things that I didn't want to grab from Aldi because I was so far away. I did grab one gallon of milk, but I had only one freezer bag and I packed everything together and the milk stayed pretty good, but there's no way I would have been able to get all of this home. So I needed some heavy whipping cream. I grabbed the quart of the great value. I did grab a quart of buttermilk, but they didn't have it, so they substituted me the half gallon. That's why it's already used, because as soon as I got it home, I broke it open and made pancakes this morning for the kids. So went ahead and grabbed that for them. And then, of course, I had to grab Hubby, his creamer. That's the half gallon of the Great Value French Vanilla. Couldn't get that at Aldi, so I had to grab that for him. Grabbed one thing of the Minute Maid tropical punch just to have extra drinks in the house i didn't buy this one this one was adopted i can't with you oh your face it's your birthday you gonna say happy birthday are we gonna sing happy birthday to you today say i won today no not you you not won no you not won uh-uh you're not one no you're not no you're only six months you big beast all right, go ahead, go lay down, let mama finish. All right, so like I said, tropical punch for drinks. We needed some sour cream, and again, not going to Costco until another week, so I grabbed the Daisy sour cream, the three pound container with like football food and stuff. We go through tons of sour cream. I did get some chocolate brownie ice cream. That's something Paul asked for. He said he just wanted like plain old chocolate ice cream that he can scoop out of a container and put into a bowl. So this one says it's dark chocolate ice cream with dark chocolate brownie pieces. So he should like that. He definitely loves himself some chocolate. Maya needed some tights for dance. I don't know what her deal is, but this girl seriously goes through a pair of tights every other week. So this is the Dance Skin Now Footed Shimmer Tights in the pink shimmer in the size four to six. So I got that for her. And then this is one of the items that came delivered to my house today. This was part of this grocery haul. So I mentioned earlier that now some of the items if they can't give it to you in store, it could be shipped to your house, which definitely works out because this was something that I really wanted to try. So a bunch of you had suggested in my lunch video that if Jake didn't like that protein drink, the Gatorade one, to try some of the premier protein drinks. I've always steered away from these for myself because I'm usually weird about the texture of these, but Jake didn't seem to be bothered by the texture of the Gatorade one. So when he said it wasn't the texture, it was more the flavor. I really wanted to try him on like a bunch of different flavors, but a lot of the four packs I just couldn't get from Walmart, like in the flavors that I wanted to try for Jake. And so I paid a little bit more for this. It was like $22 and it had to be shipped. That's why I said it came by delivery today, but it's because it's a variety pack of all different kinds. So it has the cookies and cream, which is the one I really wanted him to try. And then it has a cafe latte. Down there, it has a peaches and cream. Then it has a strawberries and cream. It has a vanilla. It has a banana and cream. It has a chocolate. It has a caramel. And that was it, right? Yeah, caramel, banana, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, peach, cafe latte, and cookies and cream so to me this was worth the 22 bucks for jake to sample all of these and see which one he likes and which one he doesn't like and maybe he won't like any of them and maybe my little kids will enjoy them or something but either way at least this is a way for us to try different flavors and then I'll just be on the hunt for a better deal at like the bulk stores and stuff for the ones that, of the flavors that we actually like where we can get it for a little bit cheaper. So we'll definitely give those a try and see how we feel. And then the other things that are still being delivered is my stuffing. You guys, when they said, hey, we can't give it to you in the pickup, but we'll send it to you for free. I said, yes, please. So I, I will pop a picture up right here. I have two packages of the Pepperidge Farm seasoned bread cubes to make some stuffing. So I'm excited about that. And then when I was looking through the juice boxes, I saw the 100% Capri Sun juice boxes, but in the watermelon flavor. And I thought that was pretty neat because I usually get the four packs from the bulk stores and watermelon watermelon is not a flavor that is usually in there. So Oliver, stop it. Look at this cat. Look, look, can you see what he is doing? 
Yes, that is him chewing the container of my butter. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you might have seen that he knocked over my Ray Dunn butter dish and he broke it because he was trying to get to the butter. And this is him eating the pack of butter because he's literally obsessed. Like, how does he know that that's butter? It's totally ridiculous. Anyways, back to the watermelon juice boxes. It's just not a flavor I've really ever really seen before. And so when Walmart said that they can ship it to me, I said, all right, that's awesome. Just ship it to me. So I still have stuffing coming and I still have juice boxes coming, but I couldn't wait for those to film this grocery haul because one is coming on Wednesday, the stuffing, and then the uh, juice boxes are coming on Thursday. So that's too late for mama. We post these on Tuesday. So that is it you guys this was a really long grocery haul super long-winded i am so sorry especially if you are new but there was a lot going on this week we had crazy stuff everywhere and groceries and this kind of stuff excite me i'm i'm sorry sorry not sorry all right enough talking let's get into the meal plan all right you guys so here is the meal plan for monday september the 27th through sunday october the 3rd which october happens to be my absolute favorite month of the year so for yesterday on Monday, we did a pork roast. I got that a couple of weeks back and I was really, really excited about it. I hadn't had a pork roast in a long time. So I went ahead and made that with some roasted potatoes and salad. And then uh, for today, we're gonna do my chicken roll-ups. This is like something I created, like I think we're going on like 15 or 16 years or something that I made this and it has become a house favorite. I make it every six weeks or so. It's one of the recipes that was in my first cookbook that I wrote with the girls and it's just super easy. It's like a ch creamy chicken burrito, but it's really, really good. And we're gonna use that with the rest of the nacho chips that I have from HEB so we can finish those off for tomorrow we're just going to do burgers on the grill i bought them so that i can grill them out for madison um, but now i just had them in the freezer so we're just going to do burgers and mac and cheese um, and then on a thursday we're going to do that bacon cream cheese chicken i bumped it from last week i never got a chance to make it we just did leftovers one night and so that's something i had to work into this week's meal plan because it's definitely one of daryl's favorites and then we're going to do that with the creamy garlic orzo i have parent teacher comp conferences that night so I want to get like something in the oven that's like pretty easy for me to prepare so I can you know focus on zooming for that on Friday it's first of the month so I have a lot of like bills to pay and stuff that I need to get together for like YouTube videos sponsorships all of that like moving forward into the next month so I have a lot of things that I want to take care of on Friday and in the morning I'm actually starting off with a little coffee date the night before on Thursday is the opening day of Station 19 and Grey's Anatomy. And so the next day it becomes like available on Hulu and stuff. So I'm going to meet Vanessa in the morning and we're just going to have coffee and we're going to watch those two shows. I miss having a friend to watch TV with. Like when I lived in New York, I used to watch like TV shows with Jen and I used to watch TV shows with my friend Tara. And so I kind of miss doing that with a friend and now that I'm into Grey's Anatomy and Station 19 and I'm officially caught up I thought it would be cool that we get together once a week and watch the shows together so we're going to do a little coffee date Friday morning and give that a try and then we're going to do all of the pizza from Aldi and some salad and stuff and then on Saturday, we're going to grill out some steak. I have those steaks that I think are going to be really awesome on the grill. I'm hoping to go to Costco that day so I can grab corn on the cob because I don't have any, but I would really like to have it alongside the steak. I really love to grill corn and steak and then do like a potato salad. It always feels so summery to me, even though that'll be the second day in October. But you know, needless to say, it's still 90 degrees here so we can grill out some steaks. And then, um, on Sunday of course we're gonna do football food because we always do that so that is it you guys for this week's grocery haul and meal plan if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a, a huge thumbs up don't forget to go over and give Jennifer a look and some love and subscribe and let her know that I sent you I know you guys are gonna get such a giggle out of her because she really does truly just make me laugh and I love to watch grocery hauls that are entertaining and comical while I still get to see what else is out there and again if you guys are from her channel thanks for stopping over i hope you'll subscribe and stick around i love you guys all so so much and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys